an already vulnerable population on the front lines again. The public health guidance is limited uh, connections and, pub and social distancing, but that's almost impossible for someone living with Alzheimer's disease or related dementia. Gino Colombara is with the local chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. He says people living with Alzheimer's disease need constant care, especially now. They also need to be reminded of daily tasks that could save their lives. Put a note on the bathroom mirror, wash your hands for 20 seconds and, you know, help instruct the individual on how to do that. Given the majority of patients are older than 65 with other health issues, the coronavirus can hurt them most. But meeting funding goals for research could also be a struggle as the virus worsens. We're working with Congress and encouraging them to uh, support the Relief for Charities uh, Act that will ensure uh, funding for all nonprofits. Events like the longest day coming up in June are being adjusted. Colombara says the logistics moving from in person to online, just like support services. The Alzheimer's Association wants you to know that help is always available, even if that means virtually. If you go to their website, you can find a 24 seven helpline and you can even live chat with trained professionals. And these educational programs that we're doing virtually, we had one today, we had 17 people registered for it. So that's pretty good, I think. But for now, they say to keep your distance, check on your neighbors, and don't be afraid to ask for help. In Norfolk, Aaron Miller, News 3.